What's good, folks? Name is Joey here. You are not. Facial hair is nice, cleaned out, hydrated, and ready to go. Declaration Grooming's Milk Steak loaded up in this B1 knot that I'll be raffling off. 100 spots, $100 a spot. Two spots for admins, 98 spots for Eric. Eric, let me know if you want to send that goods and services or friends and family. All right, let's get this ready to go. What, I face a little bit. I'll be using this B1 knot and a Wolfman WR2 just to flex on you hose. All right, so the milk steak base came about after Scott had numerous reports that Icarus was a little hard to lather and was a little hard of a soap. I agree with the fact that I prefer a softer soap. Um, but Icarus was not hard to lather. It did take a lot of water. But it was not difficult if you start with a sopping wet brush, which I always do. Yeah, some more water. So Milk Steak is a unreleased base that utilizes quite a few different fats and milks and a few ingredients I've never seen before. One being egg whites, another is buttermilk. I don't know why egg whites. But Scott has his theories. Anyway, uh, so in regards to milk steak being easier to lather, 100% without a doubt, this is one of the easiest lathering soap bases I've ever used. It does not require a lot of water, but it can handle a lot of water. I kind of overloaded a little bit, and this is the first video I've ever made, so it's kind of awkward to lather and talk at the same time and really see what you're doing. But this base is so good, I felt like it deserved a video review by a dirt bag like myself. All right, looks pretty good. Let me add a touch more water. This soap on the face feels very similar to um, Barristered Man's PP8, <laughs> which was stands for Purple Possum 8, which was the eighth iteration of the test base before Excelsior was released. Excelsior is a very good base, but it gets a little uh, clumpy, where PP8 didn't have that. It just kind of exploded into a thick, shiny lather. Very similar to this. This is very hard to do on camera. I don't know why. It's kind of awkward. Okay. So, Milk Steak is absolutely the slickest base I've ever used. It has the absolute best post shave of any soap I've ever used. Without a doubt, easiest to lather. Just overall an incredible soap base. This is the fourth time I've used it. And every other time I've not used any aftershave product or anything. If you know me, you know that I absolutely love Scott's Liniment as a post shave product. And I have about 20 bottles that I'm hoarding and still trying to get more. Let me move that a little bit. Still don't want you guys to see my naked ass. So I'll keep the camera high. I only do about two passes. I don't do a lot. I don't do it against the grain. So maybe I'm not the best judge of a soap in that regards, but I'm here for no irritation. And 
I speak of the wonderful soaps and artisans. So, I will say that this feels more like an upgrade to Bison than it does Icarus, just because it's a lot more similar to Bison in terms of its ease of lather, its density, and just overall feel. Um, but... Basically what Scott did is he took everything he learned from Bison and he made Icarus, took everything he learned from Icarus and made this. So this soap is just absolutely incredible. He did a great job. I really can't give it. Enough comments or compliments. If you're asking me what a similar form and soap base would be, I would say if Icarus and Bison had a baby, this would be it. Or I think in face feel, it's quite similar to PP8 and Excelsior because it's not as fatty as Icarus or Bison feeling on the face, but it's super slick and super dense and almost feels like a cosmetic. I'm gonna add some more water. It's really slick and hydrated. It really can take a ton of water, but it doesn't need it, which is really nice. If you're looking for a quick, fast shave, this is pretty much it. Really minimal loading because it's so soft. If you're using a soft soap and you're saying you're wasting a lot, you're overloading. You don't need that much. This is actually really awkward to do. Okay. I'll lather it up. Ready to go for my second and final pass. This soap will be released next Friday. Scott said in two cents for sure, one being Massacre of the Innocents, which is a dupe of a fragrance called Herod, or I like to say Herod, which is absolutely incorrect. Also, in Scott's wonderful scent, Dark Fall, which I'll absolutely be buying. I've heard wonderful things about Massacre of the Innocents. Sort of a tobacco-y, spicy, cinnamon, vanilla. All those great notes that are good in the fall. Um, dark fall is also a sweet, kind of spicy, warm, touch of smoke. Well, depends on your nose, but there's some smoke. Just a great fall scent that I really like. So here in a second, I'll show you how I use this lather as a post shave instead of using a post shave. Okay. So I really just do kind of a whiff across the green modified. They're both passes, right? Really, it's kind of all over the place. 
I really like this dual combo movement because one side is a 1.00, open the other side is a 0.90 safety bar. Uh, so it's very mild on that side, so I'll just have for the second pass. Okay. Oh. I start off by rinsing all the soap and hairs off. Take all this wonderful lather out of here because this is the best you can get. Oh, my son is crying again, so bear with me. But I'll live. So basically, I just take all this, rub it in. There's a lot of skin foods and fats and moisturizers in here that make your skin super soft. When it comes to post shave, to me, I think, uh, I always thought Holy Cause Bafala was probably the best I'd ever had with Icarus being right there. And so same with Excel's here. Uh, somehow this is even better. I don't know how he did it. Maybe it's the egg whites. Maybe it's the buttermilk. He also put yogurt in here. Uh, I think he added shea butter. Uh, still goat's milk, still bison tallow. Um, still a lot of the same good ingredients that were nicorice went over to here, except for uh, he did leave out the uh, oatmeal, which he wasn't quite sure what it did. Um, Obviously, he was right because this is incredible. All right, I'll let my water not dry. Over here, I just leave this on while I rinse all my stuff off, and then you'll see what I do right here at the end. Um, I don't know if you can hear my son, but he is wailing hard. All right, so I dry my hands off, come back, and if you just kind of rub this in. And I'll rinse my hands if there's a lot. Normally it dries a little bit quicker. Or I let it dry longer, I guess. Okay. And then you can actually just get it to rub in. Just like that. And it feels incredible. It literally feels like you put a post shave on like liniment or a lotion or whatever any one of those wonderful products it is absolutely the best soap base i've ever used it's going to be released next friday get out get on the internet and buy it it's definitely a buy see you folks on reddit